Scorpio, what's going on with you guys? This reading is going to be directed to single Scorpios, all right? So, with that said, I'm tuning into those Scorpios that are independent, ladies and gents, in a non-committed uh, uh, situation, okay? You could be having someone on your mind, as you could be connecting with someone, but don't have to be. What's going on with the singles? With the Scorpios... What's going on in your love life? We're going to look at your overall situation. We're going to look at your energy as well as the energy of whomever it is that you're dealing with. I want two more. <clears throat> All right. Let's jump straight in, ladies and gents. The justice, the death card, and the judgment. All major arcanas, ladies and gents. Major things happening here. I'm seeing the resurrection of a situation. I feel that you could have been in some sort of disharmonious relationship and there's a new beginning i feel that some of you guys are already experiencing that new beginning and some of you are just already in that high vibe already you're in a good mood when it comes to this although what you dealt with could have been quite heavy i mean all major arcanas clearly somebody learned some serious lessons here the justice and the judgment and the death like <laughs> jesus talk about karma possibly washing out some muck out of somebody all right. Nevertheless, this speaks of growth. This speaks of growing up or maturing emotionally, ladies and gents. Pain, discomfort, disharmony, chaos is all necessary. All right, let's look into this justice. What's going on with this justice? So the Ace of Cups. Boom, here comes that opportunity. Hey, I want to fix things. All right, that's the sort of message that I'm getting here with this, with this Ace of Cups and the justice. Somebody clearly wants to have a new beginning on an emotional level. Someone that could have turned their back on the relationship for quite some time. It's like this person was acting in a way that was not in accordance with the prosperity of the relationship. And they realized that and they got their act together. Okay. It's like they were compelled to do the right thing, essentially. Like I'm not, I'm not doing this right. I need to get my act right. And here they are, the temperance. I mean, this is all about just balancing things out, essentially, right? Being patient with the situation, being diligent with, with, uh, with harmonizing this. So whomever it is that you're dealing with in simple terms is putting effort, ladies and gents. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Libra, Scorpio, we got. All right, so let's see what's going on. <clears throat> what's going on with the Death card? All right, so here someone changed their, or rather, put forth the effort. To bring or to turn around to yeah to turn around a situation and now we are here at the death. What's going on with the death? Hmm. Somebody here is the, the receiver of the message is interested, but I see a bit of hesitancy. Okay, this could be in Scorpio. Whoa. <clears throat> Sorry, malfunction there. Technical difficulty. What's going on here? What's what's going on? Yep, strength card. I mean, I see somebody's interested but a bit hesitant in regards to pursuing or going forward with this transformation of a situation. All right, someone's a bit hesitant about taking the past back. All right, reconciling this relationship. I, I mean, they're open, flat out. I see this individual open, but they're stressed out. They still having, I mean, they haven't clearly found balance. They're trying to be strong in this and, you know, they're definitely putting their effort as well. Whomever it is, this could have been the, re the, the, in the individual that received the short end of the stick in this whole situation and the conflict that ensued. All right. So this leads us to the judgment. This leads us to the judgment. This is reconciliation. This is people coming, you know, coming together, essentially speaking truth, truth being established. It doesn't mean that you guys are going to be together, but there's definitely action. There's definitely ten of coins, the sun, six of swords. This could be indicative of of basically finding stability once again in this relationship. But with this magician, what I'm getting the indication of is that there's effort, right? People are using their tools, they're acting the way they should in order to make something happen, in order to bring stability within a situation, Scorpio. By the way, there's construction going on, so you guys will probably hear noise, which I'm really annoyed about, but I'm gonna focus, all right? So I hope you guys focus as well. Tell me more. The world card, absolutely, I'm telling you. The Empress at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Coins, the Sun again at the bottom of the deck. So, ladies and gents, what I'm seeing here is, what I am seeing is closure, flat out. Closure of a situation, and 
Jesus, there could have been a lot of emotional pain there. The Tower of the Three of Swords, ladies and gents. Could have been a major shift. I mean, this relationship was rocked, okay? So, hmm. Yes, I'm seeing rekindling. I'm seeing a transformation, moving on from the past, going on to progression towards growth. Shit, somebody's quite adamant about this. Somebody is quite adamant about this. All right. Now, someone's going to give way to this. I feel that the... Yeah, there's a lot more room to develop, but at least the mutual, the interest is mutual. Okay, the interest is mutual. There's a lot of benevolence here. So it's like I see the offer being accepted by someone that, let's just say you're the one receiving this opportunity to re -encandle. It's like, yeah, you really have some strong feelings for this individual. You are accepting them, you are hearing them, but there's a bit of, you know, a bit of uh, insecurity within you, whether you should take this or not, or there's a bit of hesitancy or some sort of pull. All right. Let's look into your energy. Let's look into the energy of whomever it is that you're dealing with. Scorpio. <clears throat> what is Scorpio's energy in this situation? What is Scorpio's energy in this situation? Let's take a look. The world card. Wow. So you're completely accepted this the idea of moving past obstacles that impeded your happiness. All right, tell me more. <clears throat> this is great, this is good. So, I mean, this is setting down boundaries. This is basically coming to decisions, making choices in regards to the path that you're gonna go down. And I'm seeing one that is not easy, of course, right? You're appearing as the, the, the Perseverance card, the Wounded Warrior. Three of Swords, holy shit. Yeah, you were hurt, most certainly, I mean. Emotional turmoil all the way and it could have even been hurt even more because of the significance that this relationship had This individual could have meant a lot to you. Therefore that shit hurt. It struck The tower. I mean, this is a complete paradigm shift clearly what it was the relationship that let me just tell you this the relationship that it was once It's not going to be it's gonna to have to morph into something else ladies and gents Yeah, you guys could come back together stronger from this, right? You, you got two mature individuals that see eye to eye and share a common goal, they can definitely surmount the situation. But it's not going to be what it used to be. And that's the way, that's what you should be aware of. And that's how you should approach the situation. That way you do not bring old baggage onto the new phase of the relationship, right? It's like, okay, if you're going to get over the past, then leave the past behind because the past fucking destroyed with everything else that that, that destruction took. You know what I mean? So... Take this rebuilding seriously so you can make it easier for yourself and whomever it is that you're dealing with if you're going to be going down that path of reconciling and fixing this relationship for you. Now, what's going on with whomever it is that you're dealing with? What's going on with whomever it is that you're dealing with? What's their energy? The Ace of Cups. Sure enough, I'm telling you, this is them. So you are on the receiving end of this. You're the hurt one here, Scorpio. All right, the messenger's coming, wanting to reconcile, wanting to connect with you on an emotional level, bring balance to the situation. Yup, Six of Cups. This is the past returning, all right? This individual's coming forward in a very benevolent form, trying to be kind, or actually being authentically kind. So they got genuine feelings towards you, all right? They've done a lot of thinking regarding the situation, a lot of overthinking. They even focused on themselves throughout this process and gained some footing, some groundedness is what I'm seeing. All right, and they needed to because they were definitely overwhelmed with the situation. But they're coming forward in a much better state, wanting to connect with you, the lovers. Scorpio. Single Scorpios. It seems that you may not be single for long, all right? And yes, I don't want to no, I don't want to hear it. All right, I know you guys are going to be, I want new love, I don't want the past. And what are you doing in this reading? I can't believe you even stayed this long. All right. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to be taking this to the extended. I'm going to be diving into whomever it is that you're dealing with. All right, I'm going to be looking into their feelings for you, their long-term intentions, the actions that they're going to be taking towards you, and the future of this relationship. So if you're interested, I'll see you in the extended. The link will be in the description. Otherwise, Scorpio, it's a pleasure as always. All right, I will see you guys in another video.